Hi, and thanks for watching. I'd like to do a review on my Filson Shortlined Cruiser. Um, this is a relatively new jacket to me. Uh, and I've had it probably well, roughly about 12, 12 months now. Um, I just want to talk about a little bit about how I came to get this jacket, uh, a little bit on the pricing and some of the features of the jacket. Um, as I said before, it's a short line cruiser. It's a trucker jacket. Um, I believe the jacket is actually meant to sit sort of just on the hip line or it does and it sits just on the hip line uh, or, or your belt line, uh, I suppose. So it's not a, it's not a, it's not a very long jacket as, as the name um, adequately describes. Uh, it is a uh, waxed cotton jacket. Um, so uh, fill some treat these garments, heat, heat, the, uh, heat the wax into the uh, fabric and then it gets uh, you know a waterproof property or a highly water resistant property. Uh, it's just an old fashioned way of um, waterproofing garments. Um, the jacket itself is a fairly no frills jacket. Uh, it's you know fairly well constructed uh, jacket. Uh, nice buttons, really nice buttons actually. It's probably one of my favorite features or, or one of the things that I I noticed first when I purchased this jacket was the fact that the uh, the buttons are just really solid. Uh, the jackets, other jackets that I have had previously, you, know, you sort of get a little bit worried that they're going to pop off, or uh, over time that they're going to you know fall off. Uh, I don't get this impression or that impression with this particular jacket. It's really well constructed. Uh, you've got double stitching on fairly well all of the seams um, of the jacket. Uh, you've got a few pockets on the jacket. Uh, this main one here, or this top one, top pocket here, would adequately fit in the likes of an iPhone. Uh, you know, something small, maybe a wallet or something. I just pop, you know, kind of get my hand in there, I guess. Uh, fairly deep sort of pocket for a top pocket. Uh, again, really nice, uh, well constructed buttons. On the on the on the front of the breast there. Uh, now this uh, side here, you've got three small slits uh, or three small pockets. I'm assuming these are both for pencils or something similar to a a pencil type of thing. I, I don't know what else you'd be able to fit in there. Um, or maybe a little torch or a, or a small knife uh, perhaps. Uh, and I can get two fingers inside this uh, this side. So. Um, yeah, maybe for a, a pocket knife or a torch or something like that. Uh, these jackets are, are made for a purpose. They're an old school work jacket uh, and you can see why. Um, they have two pockets, two hand warmer pockets uh, on either side of the jacket. Um, again, not really, they're not finished with anything in particular. They're pretty raw on the inside of this jacket. Uh, so uh, this jacket, I guess, I'd call it, a, you'd definitely call it a work jacket. Uh, they're starting to become a little bit more popular now, I guess, amongst people that don't traditionally use them for, for work purposes. I would be one of those. Uh, but they're pretty well, from what I understand, true to their original uh, design. Um, so I'll show you on the inside of the jacket. You have just a very, very thin cotton uh, layering uh, on the inside of the jacket. And that is because it just adds a little bit of extra comfort to the jacket. Uh, sometimes you can find with oil skins or wax, uh, wax canvas, wax cotton jackets, you can get a little bit of a film um, on your skin if, if, uh, if the jacket hasn't been worn in. Uh, so hence, hence the reason for that cotton. Um, on the inside as well, which is a really great feature and I didn't fully appreciate uh, this feature until I popped the jacket on, but it is satin lined on the inside of the jacket. And I can tell you it is a really, really nice touch to have a satin lined um, sleeve, particularly if you're putting, you're layering this jumper, uh, this jumper, this jacket with a jumper or a sweater or something like that underneath. Uh, sometimes you find that the sleeves have a tendency to uh, bunch up. So that satin in the sleeves uh, eliminates that. Um, I'm surprised actually that there aren't more uh, clips on this particular jacket, uh, considering how long and 
uh, such a bread and butter item, I guess this is for for Filson, or what I understand, this is for Filson. Um, here's the here's the rear of the jacket. Um, I paid three hundred and fifty US dollars for this jacket, uh, approximately 12, 12 months or so ago, uh, which is quite steep. Uh, I think uh, I think you are paying for look. You're paying for quality. You're paying for the name. Filson have, have, have developed an, a reputation for exceptional quality garments for a very very long time. And uh, look, do I think it's worth three hundred and fifty US dollars? It was eye watering once I I converted that to Australian dollars, but Look, I bought it, I like it, I do wear it. It is very, very well made, well constructed, and I'm gonna have it for a very long time. So do I think it's justified? Yeah, I do. Um, and I am I am very, very glad that I have this this jacket. Um, that's about all I wanted to tell you about the jacket. I just wanted to give you a quick quick, uh, quick look at the jacket. Um, if you've got any questions, please comment, um, like if you liked, liked the video. Um, I'll be sure to come back to you if you do have any questions or if you wanted me to do, um, you know, some more close-ups or, or something like that. But if you are considering this jacket, hopefully this has helped. Okay, thanks.